In this lesson, we are going to explore the skills needed to model a simple office building, starting with creating exterior walls using the stacked wall system family and changing the shape of the wall using the edit profile tool. Stacked walls are a system family that allows the user to combine two or more basic wall types to create one wall with at least two sub walls stacked on each other. Stacked walls can be created from the wall tool and it's simply just a type that we pick from the type selector. To start, we're gonna go ahead and edit type and take a look at what creates this wall. To further refine this, we wanna make sure that we have the section preview mode set and we'll go into edit under structure. By default, the stacked wall has two different types loaded in and it's gonna start off by giving us a base height for number two in our layers here. You can see as I select the different options, it's gonna highlight which layer is which. And for this project, we're gonna go ahead and set the brick on metal stud as our base layer. And we'll set our EFIS on metal stud as our top layer. For our base, we're gonna set this to two foot eight. And our offset, which is going to allow us to align the walls into different locations, we're going to set to finish face interior because we want to make sure that this interior face is always aligned. The way the two walls align, we're given pretty much our basic location line settings here. So if I were to change it to something like finish face exterior, you can see now it's going to align the exterior face, but leave a jog on the interior. We're going to leave it at finish face interior. I'm going to hit OK until I get out of the dialog box. And then we're going to draw our wall. For this project, I'm going to use the rectangle draw method. I want to make sure my location line is set to finish face exterior. And I'm going to set my top constraint to top of parapet. And I'll make sure my offset is not set to anything, but set to zero here. Using that rectangle draw method, I'm going to go from the top left corner to the bottom right making sure that it's hitting that edge of slab like we had defined. I'm going to go to my default 3D view to take a look at the wall we've created. You can see here that we have that base of brick across the bottom of the building, and then we have the EFIS finish above that. Our next step, we're going to go ahead and use Edit Profile to create a notch here to define our entryway. To do that, I'm gonna to go to my south elevation. From the south elevation, what I wanna do here is I'm gonna use my edit profile tool. To do that, I need to select one of my exterior stacked walls and use edit profile. The two lines I'm gonna draw are gonna be vertically on the face of the jog of the slab that you see here, and then horizontally, across. And notice I didn't pay attention to where it ended here because what I want to do is I'm going to draw a dimension to define that height to be 20 foot 8 inches. With these two lines drawn, I can use the trim extend to corner tool to create my continuous loop. This is important to have whenever we use the edit profile tool because anytime I'm modifying a profile, I need to make sure I have a continuous boundary, no intersecting lines, and no overlapping lines. Once I'm sure I have that set, I'll finish the sketch and do the same thing on the opposite side or the west side of the building. I'll select the wall, edit profile, and this time I can trace this edge And following the same steps by using the trim extend to corner, I can create the shape I'm looking for. Now I'll finish the sketch, go to my default 3D view, and take a look at what I've created.